Hey Vintage Kids, it's Miss Kayla and I'm here to do the craft with you again this week. This week in your lesson, you learned about turning the other cheek. And that is something that's really, really hard to do. That's something that's really hard for me to do. I bet if you talk to your parents, it's something that's tough for them to do as well. So we're going to make a craft that helps us kind of calm down if we are angry with someone or we're in a fight with somebody so that we can um, take a breath um, and then be able to talk to them and uh, have some resolution. So this is called a calm down jar and it's something that really helps you kind of calm your mind and calm your heart when you're angry or frustrated at a brother and sister or a neighbor or a friend, maybe even with your mom and dad. Um, it helps you just calm down and think about what you need to think about. So you're gonna need a few things for this craft and as I point them out to you, I want you to get your mom or dad to help you pull these things out. This is a craft that'll, um, that you'll need your mom or dad to help you do, or a grandparent or an older brother or sister. So you're going to need a clear jar that has a lid on top that you can screw on. You're going to glue the lid on at the end. You are going to need um, some markers, some Sharpie markers that you can write on the jar with, and that if you write on it, it won't come off. You will need some kind of measuring cup that has a spout on it. And if you don't have a cup like that, then you'll need a funnel. So either a measuring cup with a spout or a funnel. You'll need water. You'll need um, olive oil, which you can find in your kitchen. Some food coloring. I have gel food coloring, but it can be any kind of food coloring. And then optional is glitter. So if you have glitter at your house, and only if your mom or dad are around, can you use glitter, because we know that glitter can get pretty messy. So the first thing that you want to do is take your clear container, and this can be anything from like a water bottle to a bottle that some other kind of liquid was in. Mine is a clear um, spice container. This has spices in it, and I just rinsed it out, cleaned it up, got the um, outside off, cleaned it up really good, and then let it dry. And the first thing you're going to do is think about what phrase would help you remember to calm down if you were angry. So this week you learned the phrase, turn the other cheek. And so on my bottle, I wrote, calm down and turn the other cheek. And I wrote the scripture that we learned this week, Matthew 5, 38 through 42. So before I do anything else, and while my bottle is nice and clean, I'm going to write that on the outside. Because in just a second, you're going to put stuff inside of it, and we don't want um, it to get really messy. So you're going to go ahead and do that first. So whatever phrase that is, and you can borrow my phrase, you can write, calm down and turn the other cheek because you're gonna be using this to look at, okay? So once you do that, you've done that with your markers, you're gonna set those to the side, and then you're gonna need your two liquids, okay? So I have water right here, and I dyed my water um, whatever color I wanted to. So I picked pink, because my daughter really likes the color pink, um, and then I have my oil here. And this is a great science experiment. If you've never done this before, what's going to happen is we're going to put the water and the oil inside of this bottle, and they're not going to mix together. So we're going to be able to watch them kind of laying on top of each other. Okay, so I'm going to use my spout. If you don't have a, a cup with a spout, you're going to use your funnel. And I'm going to pour my oil in first. Be really careful when you do this because oil is really messy and you don't want it to get all over the place. Okay. So I'm going to pour my oil in first, so you can see that in there. And then next, I'm going to pour my water that is dyed pink in next. Okay. You'll notice they're both in there. Now, when you first put them in there, they're kind of going to look like they mix, but if you let them sit for just a second, they're going to separate like that okay now the last step is to add whatever fun things that you want to add so if your parents have glitter if you have like little glitter stars anything like that you want to add you can do that next so I'm gonna pick a different color than pink I'm gonna do purple in mine okay so I'm gonna take a little glitter and add it in there being really careful okay so I'm gonna add some of that just a little scoop and a little scoop all right oh that was a lot of scoop that's okay, right? All right, so I'm going to add that in there, and then I'm going to put the lid on top. Now, this is where your parents are going to put some glue on here. You do not ever, once you put the lid on here, you don't ever want to open it back up, OK? 
okay? So this is a tool to help you kind of calm down and reflect so you don't want to be able to open it back up. So parents, you might want to use some super glue or a hot glue gun. I'm going to hot glue mine here in a little bit. So something that will keep it closed forever. All right, so we've got all those ingredients in there. We've got our water, we've got our oil, we've got our glitter, or our sparkles, and then we've got the words calm down and turn the other cheek. So what's going to happen these is these are going to be separated. Now, when you are really angry or you're really frustrated with your big sister or you're really mad at your next door neighbor and you need to calm down, you're going to come in, you're going to be able to shake up your jar, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Everything is going to mix together and it's going to look like a big storm inside of there. And you are going to sit and you're going to be able to watch it. And in the amount of time that it takes for everything to separate out, you're going to want to think about that argument that you just had, that fight you had with a friend, and think about what could I do to turn the other cheek or apologize or show that person Jesus, okay? Now it's really cool because my jar is starting to separate out into the two different sections, and it's going to help me kind of slow down and calm down. Now it might take two shakes or three shakes or four shakes, but I want you to have this in a special place in your house where you can use it to kind of calm down and reflect and think about how to take charge of your situation and show people Jesus in the kingdom. And that's it. That's your calm down jar. We'll see you next time.